Salut, c'est Célassou. Vous êtes sur welovemusic.fr. That's not my ambition, but I mean, if it's gonna happen, then for sure I will follow. But um, yeah, for me, it's just a matter of I just hope it's gonna be successful in a way that I can tour and that I can make music and that I can live from it. But I really don't need to have like the top five selling artists. That's not my main goal. I just hope I can make music for the rest of my life. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah, I think uh, it's a, it's it's actually a beautiful story. I mean, uh, I didn't expect it at all. Ragamuffin was written in like uh, not even an hour or something, and uh, it became really big here. I think um, I have a really good entourage. I have really good people around me that uh, you know introduce me to the right people. It's a matter of time, luck, and talent, and you know, and it came together in friends. Thank God. Love has forsaken me. You know, first I, I felt together really needs a feature, a good rap feature. You have a lot of like gangsta shit and I didn't want that. I really wanted to have like a good credible vocal and I think he sounds amazing. I mean, the way he sings, raps. So um, I wanted to do something with him and also it was easy because his producer was the same as mine. My producer was Ludwig, his as well. And I was in LA and everybody lives in LA nowadays, so uh, he was like 10 kilometers from me, so he came over and in a few hours it was fixed. Oh, whoa. It's insane, you have to imagine like, uh, like three years and then four times a week singing the same 12 songs, you know, it's... Uh, it's a lot, so it was really ready for a new album. I had enough energy and, and inspiration to write a new one as well, because I was so fed up with the first one. So um, yes, it's a good thing that I can perform new songs. A fight? No, no, actually, no, I have a really good manager, but of course, you know, it's good to have a manager who, who's really ambitious that's a good, that's an important uh, characteristic for a manager. But it's on to me to say no, <laughs> and I'm really easy at that. If it's really too much, then I'm really easy to say no way, I'm not gonna do it. What I do, I love cooking. I love, love making food, eating food, inviting friends and family to make a big dinner. I love that. Um, I love to go jogging as well. I need my sport, but I do it everywhere. I do it also on tour, also when I'm home. Um, my boyfriend has two kids. My sister has two children. Just, you know, f have a big babysitting night. I love that too. So those kind of things. That's why I call my record Reason, you know, I, I had to, I had suddenly more responsibilities than ever. Suddenly, I mean, the boss of 10 people who are older than me, uh, stepmother, making the second record in time. So I had more responsibilities, you know, so I think I just got older, quicker and um, more grown up, more reasonable. Still very emotional, of course, but with a sense of reason. And I learned better to um, perform on stage. I know better how to use my voice, how to, you know, so it's, it's been a good learning class. I learned, you know, to control my very extreme emotions better. I can place it better. I can, um, you know, relativate things better. But it's just a matter of, I think, getting older as well.
Yeah, sometimes, you know, for example, I did a lot of promo in France, in Belgium, Netherlands, so that, that became a good success, which is also unbelievable, but it was kind of too expected in a way as well. But uh, there are countries I've never been and that exploded there as well, like, for example, Poland. I mean, i never been there. Then I came there, like, show sold out, 4,000 people who knew the record from beginning till end. That was really, that blew me away. Same as Brazil, Argentina, Ragamuffin is really big there as well. So to have, like, that kind of amazing crowd loving my music that that's amazing I had enough uh, emotional luggage still. I still have ups and downs, you know, I still live life. So I have a lot of, I get my inspiration from my emotional life more than I have from traveling or meeting people. It's more like just feeling a lot and then I have enough inspiration. Um, I think they had, they, they were good, you know, good combination. One I felt was really good in like organic sounds and, and um, arrangements, really a smart perfectionist guy. And the other one was more like electronic, more like a goofy guy with a lot of talent. And I thought the both together worked really well. Once we begin, but did you let go? Can take this talk Mm, it was it was not always easy, you know, like to, in terms of what do you do and, and I wanted to do my own thing But I couldn't really say what I wanted so I just said do your thing and I say if I like it or not But they were like we're working on it the whole day So it was hard. It was like fighting and sometimes loving it was it was not an easy job to uh, work together That's a fact, but it came about really nice I love that style. <laughs> I love to work that way. But of course, you cannot expect it that they do it, you know, because they have to put a lot of time in it. But for me, that's the best way of working. You know, just like, let me hear. I have an instant opinion in what I like and not, and I just can, oops, pick. So I'm really thankful that he did that for me, actually. No, for me it's actually the very most simple thing, easy for me, is to write really melancholic, slow, dark songs with dark lyrics. But the challenge is to write an credible up-tempo song. And I think it's it's much more credible when it has like a meaningful message, not just, ah, oh, I see a tree, you know, it has to mean something. And I think it's a good combination to have like a happiness in music and a darkness in, in words. No, not really, no. I love it in my comfort zone. But in a way it's actually good because it pushed me to do more, you know. When I can be really lazy at home and when they when they set me together with other people, it pushes me to write. That's a fact. But um you know, I, I traveled so much for this record that I'm really thinking about staying home for the next record actually. Internet is the most important thing, it's really clear. I mean, and it's not always easy. I'm not really like in a, a, a Twitter, Instagram freak, but I need to do it in a way because it's so important to have a relationship with your fans and to connect with them, you know? So yeah, I need to do it. Chickens, well, actually very tragically, but they're dead. <laughs> it's no problem. But a fox came along and he just eat them all. Tragic, eh? <laughs> it's a big lesson of life. Yeah, yeah. But the fact, you know, the fox also has children, so they need to have food as well, so I can live, <laughs> I can place it. But um, actually, when I was gone, my mother took care of the chicken every day. 